Howdy. It's Jim Murado. And it's May 2021. Early May of 2021. And we're in San Antonio, Texas. At the Briscoe Western Art Museum. And this was a... This was kind of a last minute... Yeah, this looks interesting. Let's check it out kind of thing. This was not on our agenda when we left home for San Antonio. But we were talking to the young fella who runs Davy Crockett's Cabin. It's kind of a gift shop that's inside the Minger Hotel. They had some really cool stuff. We liked that place a lot. And the guy working there recommended this to us. In fact, he's in the same location where the old King and Country miniatures, kind of toy soldier shop, used to be. And at that place, they had a really cool, I think about 132nd scale diorama of the Battle of the Alamo. It was really impressive. And he mentioned that this art museum had a similar diorama. That That alone encouraged us to go check the place out they have this uh yeah as you can see there's a little sculpture garden outside and these are some incredible pieces uh, flawless just flawless so anyway yeah we walked down this is only a couple of blocks from the minger the back if you go around back you're right on the river walk but we we walked just a, yeah, just a few streets over from the Minger. It was maybe a five, ten minute walk from the Minger Hotel and we got here. And we got here right when they opened. There were only a couple of other people in there with us at first. It was 12 bucks each to go in and they have three floors of just crazy impressive art and relics. Lots of weapons, clothes, saddles. Lots of Old West everything. And this I thought this was just a great room. I, I love the windmill. It just really added to stuff. I, I'll put up a few pictures. I, I didn't want to put up too many. You know, I, I don't want to steal their art. But I wanted to give you an example of the impressive pieces that they have and I've mentioned this before on other videos you know I paint toy soldiers myself and I love going to a place like this just for for reference material you know I'll, I'll look at those uh, rifles later and and use those you know when I'm painting my soldiers and I love these old wagons I've, I've mentioned this before too my my grandparents, I remember them having an old wagon at their farm that they stored corn in. Yeah, yeah, and these these every painting was spectacular. There wasn't one piece that you looked at and said, "Eh." They were all just just great. Yeah, my parents or my grandparents, my they were German, but they used to have an old wagon, and even going into you know my granddad died in the mid eighties. They still lived a very pioneer kind of lifestyle. And even my dad, who just passed away last last year, he was still very pioneerish. You know, he hunt, he fished, and he could get by on his own if he ever needed to. And I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that, not Western, but that kind of pioneer way of life. And, yeah, Sherry Harrington. Check out those paintings. <laughs> Love the colors. These pieces, I was reading, um, I think a Western art magazine. It might have been one of the Cowboy and Indian magazines that are still on uh, on the bookshelves. But when I saw that piece, I recognized it and remembered reading, reading an article about it. Yeah, just some more amazing pieces. I, I don't want to keep looking at these and just go, you know, go, wow, look at those, look at those. But, uh... Yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that mo you know I've I've painted canvases and I I've I could not come up with something that brilliant. And just, you know, they they had three floors of this. 
And that was the main entrance when we came in. I just thought it was pretty. Very welcoming. You know, you're coming into a nice place. I, I asked them about their photo and video policy, and the girl just said, as long as you don't use a flash flash photography, you're good. So I, I appreciated that uh, policy. Yeah, another great wagon, and I believe this one, I, I don't think I got a good picture of it, but under the wheel, there's a rattlesnake. So these these were really nicely set up dioramas. Uh, and there is a piece by one of my favorites, uh, Guts and Borglum, who spent a lot of time in San Antonio, actually hanging out at the Minger. And I've, I've been to um, Mount Rushmore th three times, and I love, I love uh, his stuff, especially his Lincoln stuff. He was a fan of Abraham Lincoln. You probably know he named his son Lincoln. And there are some... Uh, yeah, some outfits from the Mexican army at the time of the Battle of the Alamo. And this this was what I kind of came to see. And to be honest, I wish I'd spent more time with it now. I, I'm, I wish I would have spent more time getting some photos of these little uh, soldiers. I believe most of them are king and country. Though uh, some of them are probably Conte maybe some t toy soldiers of San Diego, but I think they're mostly king and country, if you know anything about soldiers. But they they um, they make really nice little collectible soldiers on their own. I, I, I like to paint my own soldiers, but I love looking at these guys just for, for the, like I said, the reference. And of course, there were several thousand Mexicans attacking the 180 or so uh, Texans defending the Alamo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this this is about 130 second scale. Really nicely done diorama. I don't know any other figure painters out there. I'd like to hear from you. I've I've painted quite a few. I have done a very. Eh, there's a cheap kit you can buy of the Alamo facade at most hobby shops for about fifteen or twenty bucks. It's not perfectly accurate. It's got a couple of flaws, but it's uh, it's nice for fifteen or twenty dollars. I've painted that up and I've done a lot of soldiers, and I hope to do no nothing on this scale. But I was thinking more of like a shadow box kind of diorama with maybe 40 or 50 soldiers. And I've also sculpted a 172nd scale facade of, of uh, you know, the church facade. And, you know, I hope to do a little diorama with that at some point. The guy at Davy Crockett's closet actually sells. Yeah, there's, there's the church facade over there on the right that everybody recognizes. Uh... Yeah, and there's a Bowie in his bed there. I didn't really get a good shot of him, but there he is. But yeah, over at Davy Crockett's Closet, they sell a really, really well done, I think it's about 172nd scale facade of the Alamo Church that that is just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, if, if you're if you're in San Antonio, you should, you should stop by just to see that uh the guy working there told me a friend of his sculpted it, and it, it's it's something special. And this diorama is something special because they're, again, they're obviously going for more than just the church. They're doing the whole entire fort. A fort. I mean, it's, you know, it's a mission that uh, basically became a fort. I, I do like the fact that you really get an idea of the numbers, you know, with the Mexican army approaching. This was a very hopeless situation for those defenders of the Alamo. But yeah, this is great. And it's in a room. There are other relics from the battle in this room. And it was it was just fun being in this room. It was fun being at this museum. Uh, again, it was twelve dollars each for us to get in, 
And they had a nice little gift shop with some nice kind of retro looking postcards. I think they were a buck fifty each on the postcards. And they they even had some uh, Western art magazines, you know, eight or nine dollar cover price. And you could uh, take one on your way out. I thought that was pretty cool. So I had some nice reading material while we were here in San Antonio. But yeah, we, we came to see this diorama, which is definitely a, a spectacular piece. But we were just as impressed with the paintings and the other sculptures and relics that were in this museum. So yeah, again, it's the Briscoe Western Art Museum in San Antonio. It's around 10 bucks or so to get in. And we definitely spent uh, two or three hours here. I mean, it was a nice unplanned side trip. So check that out when you're in San Antonio.